Let's get you up to speed on our top stories. Well, this month marks Black History Month, which is why we're highlighting local black owned businesses that are making an impact in our community. Now on your sides, Brooke Chow sat down with a Tucson creator about his unique brand and the dreams he hopes to see come to life outside of his workspace garage. Good morning to you, Brooke. Good morning, Heidi. The garage is right. That's where we are right now. I'm here with Ian. He created a clothing brand that's all about representation, creativity, and also being bold, just like the name of his brand. One of the most popular words at the time to describe someone's outfit was fire. When we were trying to come up with names for the brand, um, I was like, why don't we pair up fire with uh, Latin and turn that into ignis? Ian is a young entrepreneur that is focused on quality streetwear at an affordable price. This was an idea that sparked back in 2017 as a school project where his teacher taught him how to use a makeshift serigraph, which is the machine used for screen printing and fell in love with creating designs. Today he has seasonal clothing drops that he designs and prints himself. Ian has also donated 25% of his profits to the Hanson Foundation of Education, which is an organization focused on building classrooms for children in Kenya. And you can see Ian right now, he's doing his special folding technique that he taught me yesterday. He's all about precision and making sure customers receive quality items. He's hosting his first ever fashion show in Tucson later this month, where he'll also have some local black owned businesses there. And then he's headed to New York for New York Fashion Week, where some of his pieces right here will be featured there as well. So for more information on Ian's story, be sure to visit our website, kega9.com.